It is a rare event that there is a snow where I live. So I hurry to test various modes of locomotion on a slippery surface, before sun rises and melts the snow. First I try balancing on two wheels like a Segway. Tilting wheels to vertical position is very smooth on a slippery pavement partially covered by snow and ice. Unfortunately, balancing is not very good. Next, is robot driving while leaning on its tail. Robot can't fall in this mode of locomotion, but wheels slip a lot. The third mode of locomotion is to drive with slightly tilted wheels. Rubber vacuum suction cups have smooth edges, so slipping is a big problem. Soon you will see that stability is a problem too. The last mode of locomotion I tried, is a completely new way to move, on which I have been working recently. You might remember my older video, about the robot being able to move even after being placed in a bag. This allows super cheap and simple waterproofing, and I previously showed a robot moving while submerged in the water. At that time the robot could only move forward and backward but not turn. Now I redesigned this mode of locomotion to support turning, even turning in place. In bag movement works by periodic tilting of wheels. Out of phase of tilting, wheel also alternates moving back and forth in such a way that wheel turns most when tilting is at its highest point. Effectively each wheel works as two legs. One side lifts, moves forward, other side lifts moves forward. In this mode of locomotion, tilting speed and direction never changes. Duration of wheel turning must also match duration of tilting. Robot can change direction of travel by reversing wheel turning direction. Turning wheels in opposite directions allows the robot to turn in place. Changing wheel turning amplitude but not duration allows to change robot speed or turning radius. Although, increasing speed too much, has implications on stability. If you want to see more of such videos, you know the drill, like, subscribe and share.